Okay, so that didn't give me anything useful. It's just he just describing when he is here. Dream safe key. Okay. What's there? Nothing? Okay. Okay, I don't understand. Uh, ow! Frank, cause you, you're not really helpful, are you? Jesus. Okay, he continued up. Yeah, but how do you continue up, man? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Okay, so we have a safe key. Ooh! I guess maybe that was what was delivered for. Who knows? Ooh. Dream. Doctor's log. Doctor's log. 1,111,12. Okay, we're gonna read it. Just give me a thing. Okay. Let's just first read it. I don't wanna... Oh. This is the audio log of Dr. Joseph Brandon. Dated April 7th at 7.22 a.m. Yesterday, we admitted a patient, Mrs. Annalee Carson, for injuries sustained during an automobile accident. She suffered numerous contusions and cuts, though by far her most serious injury was a broken pelvis. The issue we're experiencing is that Mrs. Carson a 68-year-old woman with a broken pelvis is gone. Sometime last night, between 3 a.m. and 3.30 a.m., according to the night shift nurses, Mrs. Carson disappeared from her bed along with her IV stand. There's no record of anyone entering or leaving the hospital during those hours, and yet Mrs. Carson, a near immobile elderly woman, somehow escaped notice and vanished. Needless to say, this is our highest priority to determine what happened to one of our patients. In addition to Mrs. Carson's well-being, it is paramount to the success of this hospital that we not make a habit of losing patients. Dr. Brandon, out. Alrighty. Uh, does it switch? Oh. Okay, I have no idea. The, the log didn't really say anything. Oh, wait. Pelvis. Pelvis. No. I don't know. I, I don't know the translation of pelvis, but I think just that is pelvis. But I, don't ask me. I really couldn't tell you. Oh, yeah. I I don't know. I don't know. Jesus, I'm not a freaking doctor. I'm just a gamer. I'm not a doctor. Uh, anything in here? No, just some more mushrooms. Ooh, dead claws. Wait. Does. God damn it. Okay, we have to do something first before we go anywhere else. We have to save. No. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, new save then. Bang. Bang. Shit. 
Check, 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 check. Exact change needed. Exact change needed. <laughs> no, no, leave me alone. Ah. Haha. <laughs> okay. So exact change. Well, we didn't find any change yet. Okay. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load. I don't wanna be freaking. Come on. Load. Bam. And you get that little gift. Dream lectures, lecture notes, large switch. Okay. No righty. Where are we? Notes. Students. I have told you some of my dream. I can see on your faces that some of you are unsure what the purpose of my rambling account. I do not blame you. Dream scatter as leaves before the storm, and as a result, do the interpretation. I passed from the land of urban root into one of comparative tranquility, a large cave rich with life of a sort, but balm was not to be mine, and it was here that my dream grew more lustrous. I remember corpses in a vague shadowy shiver, as I was completely removed parts of those corpses, a shambling man forced to scramble for the good of decay to breathe another day on this cursed rock. I travelled from this realm into one familiar in my youth, the heart clock of billiard on billiard the smell of smoke the smell the fell beneath one's fingers and the rack was safe and not much the place held much English for me and another on a billiard la la talent reserve was like great sadly I was not in this place long with hissing smoke and flashes and light at the dog into sterile realm of old machinery it was cold there so cold and somehow I knew I was in dying place where winter and chill death and claimed all things breeding leaving only machines to bust and hum instead of the original mechanism. I remember little of that place. There were shadowy glimpses of children. Snowmen lined up beckoning the unseen table, tablet bearing words thrown from the pen and a man long dead, but not forgotten. I was taken from that place before the cold could settle in my bones and drop. Oh, my friends, look at the time. You're probably gazing. Blah, blah, blah. I will ask you only that you think about that I have before to sleep tonight before you sleep between your covers full of sleep before it was dry. Thank you all for a uh, good day. Okay. Oh. What was that like? Wait. Okay. I guess I did everything, right? I have no idea so i guess i did everything right if the door is open isn't it didn't i oh no mm. wait what i don't know i was thinking it's a door well, apparently it isn't. Okay. Is there a door in here or something? Well, I don't see one. I seriously have no idea. And yes, there are people outside. I hope you enjoyed that. But they are playing in the sun. Give them a break. Not everyone can have no life like me. Jesus. Okay, uh... I guess I'm gonna save again because I actually have no idea what the hell is happening and I'm the door okay I still don't see anything in there Don't you go up here. Nobody invited you. Bad. Bad. Bad dead claw. Hm. 
nothing seemed to have opened here. Where is the dead claw? He's dead, okay. Should be okay to go in here. Okay, if that's not weird and creepy, nothing is, man. Whoa. Whoa. I don't understand. Can somebody... Ooh. Can somebody explain this to me? I have no idea what to do, where to go. Yet again. Okay, let's try red mushrooms. I still have no idea what to do though. Red mushrooms, red mushrooms, I don't know man. Okay, uh, we will be back. We'll... Alrighty. So, uh, basically the house we, with the four doors this is a has a frowny face if you did do something wrong this is when you do stuff right which means it took me a while <laughs> the the door the small door on the freaking above the clock that's the first one you have to do pelvis i got right the first time and uh, there are there is that lever downstairs with the, where the mushroom switch it's the yellow one the one on the top you have to switch between four of them, I think. So yes, we have a happy face here. And of course, this has to go. Yeah. And I was like, why is that floating in the air? And more and more, it kept, you know, spawning these things like the cage and stuff. So. Frank, this is something for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's creepy. Ooh. Creepy much? Uh. Uh. But what did it kill me, man? Wait, oh no, it's it's okay or not? I think so. It should be okay. Why did it kill me, man? I'm the victim here. Uh. Hello? Oh, okay. Shit. I don't wanna die. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's funny, isn't it? It is. That's my excuse. I did it not because I'm a douchebag, but I, because... Shut up. Run! Creepy music much?
Don't kill me. Oh, thank God. Okay. Ooh. What the hell fell down? Jesus. Can I come now? Ooh. Did that... Where did the car come from? Jesus. That's some creepy fucked up shit in here. Oh, let me through. <laughs> I did that close there. Seems like it. <laughs> you got dead. Wait, 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 wait. Coins. Yay. Watch your step. Okay, I will. Uh, Frank, I'm not going in there. Seriously. I'm not. I don't care. I, I'm not going to be... Just, just. All right, all right, Jesus. Uh, wait for radiation to clear. Waiting for radiation. No. Ooh. Well, I could uh, could use a little bit help. Whoa. Uh oh. I don't like this at all, man. I do not like this at all. Where to go? Where to go? What to do? What to do? Uh, I'm not so sure, man. Ooh, what the hell? A foul body part ripped from the corpse of the beast. Uh, that's... You know, that doesn't mean anything good. I don't want to go there. Like a screwed up cave, man. Uh oh. Dream. Where are we? We are in a dream. In a cave. Jesus. I'm leaving this in case anyone's find me. I do not think I'm going to make it out of here alive. I will try to start at the beginning. I'm Larry, I work for the body shop in Upper Sacramento as a place called Vivendi Dent. Okay, no. Okay, I fell to sleep some hours after I woke. I used the restroom and I woke and it was quite chilly and other bedroom lights looked funny. As I rolled over to my bed, I was lying sort of cave. My pillow was there, but my pajamas were still on and that was all. I screamed for my wife and kids, panicked, eyes rolling. After a few minutes of this, I settled down a bit. I realized it had to be a dream. Never have I felt a dream so real. It was not long before I discovered the others. There were two others. One guy, Bill, was a hiker and had fallen. Where was I? <laughs> was a biker and had fallen asleep outside his backpack for a pillow. He's probably the reason we made it as long as we did. Without his cooking gear and a knife, we had a heck of a time catching and cleaning the fish in the terrible little pond. He also had some paper and pencils, so I was able to make this luck. The other guy is Ned. When Bill and I ran into him, pulled a gun on us and demanded we take him back right now. I guess the guy fell asleep with a gun under his pillow. We managed to get him calmed down and convinced him that we didn't know what the hell was going on either. He didn't like this, was quite getting sucked into this hellish place.